Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben. And today we have a brand new whiskey from Port Charlotte. Port Charlotte, what's that? That's a smoky whiskey from the Bruch Lake distillery from the Isle of Isla. Mm -hmm. um, it's the predecessor from the MRC01 and uh, which was finished in Bordeaux wine cast. And this one is uh, a first fill, second fill mixture uh, of American whiskey cast, then 25% French sweet wine and 5% second fill Syria wine fast. And they are married <laughs> together in first fill Oloroso Sherry Hawksbad. It's called Zura. Zura, <laughs> yeah. And that's a hefty, heavy uh, red wine mm -hmm. for the finish and the French oak. Uh, casks they uh, possessed sweet wine in it so the sweet Bordeaux wine is uh, typically um, <clears throat> in the very south of Bordeaux and they are a, a very sweet white wine mm -hmm. uh, which will give its mark on that whiskey mm -hmm. um, Port Charlotte is in between the Brigladi itself which is unpeated and the Octomore Mm -hmm. which is heftily peated, and the uh, so Port Charlotte a, in between. So the Port Charlotte is a regular or heavily peated Isla malt with about 40 ppm, which yeah. is about the standard for PP, uh, peated Isla whiskey. And the Octomore is just far beyond that, and Brickladi is uh, at next to nothing. Yeah, that's it. And Port Charlotte is the town that is south of Brickladi. Mm -hmm. And um, the the casks of Bruchladi are stored at the Port Charlotte warehouse, but unfortunately they have not been going on with their plans to build a Port Charlotte distillery in yeah. the town of Port Charlotte. Mm -hmm. So did you say uh, south of Bruchladi lies south of Port Charlotte? Port Charlotte is south of Bruchladi. So yeah, you, you pass Port Charlotte you before you reach Bruchladi. I think afterwards. No, you, you go round and yeah. you come from the north and you go through Burghladi to Port Charlotte. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a nice restaurant there. Um, the whiskey is bottled at high proof. I don't know if it's cast strength or not. Did they say that? No. And it's uncolored and not chilfered. Uh, it's 55.1. And we've put a few drops of water here because uh, yeah. it's 55.1% uh, so. Yeah. Nine years, 55.1% might be a bit diluted, yeah. might not. OLG or OLC, probably Oloroso cask for the finish, and 01 2010 for the, uh, the, for the first batch ah, distilled in OLC, 2010. Oloroso oh, cask, yes. and yes. the MRC, which was the, the one before that, was MRC yeah. with Madeira yeah. casks. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, it's nine eight nine age uh, for no for nine matured for nine ages, no nine for years. nine years. <laughs> age of there stand here eight aged, nine aged years in Ocas. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> probably I had one too much. No, no. <laughs> age nine nine age. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do we open that? Hmm. That's hefty. Do we have a knife? The other problem is the opening the knife. It's about as difficult to open the knife. I can't get it out anymore. anymore. <laughs> that never happened. I take this crew. Never, never, ever. I was able to open a bottle. The bottle will never win. <laughs> never. <laughs> so here it lost. Even though it doesn't want to be open, <laughs> it will never win. <laughs> Smoky, yes. Better to pour than thaw. No, dropping. Mm, there's always a bit of a. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I remember that smell. That's that smells like the ham that Grandma always used to make. Mm -hmm. the, oh, she always used to cut the ham in little pieces and, and give us uh, one of a few of the pieces. 
And she had her smoky room in the chimney. <laughs> it was made up by herself. Mm. So first it's smoke, smoke, smoke. Ham. And after a little bit of time, then there is darker fruits. Mm. A little orange note. A little sweetness. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. It's a for me it's very heavy, very dark with a lot of smoke, but also a little bit earthy, a little bit of oak. And yes, there is a fruitiness to contrast that. But for me it's it's faint. And the fruitiness so lies deep behind. So the, the earth and the chocolate and uh, not chocolate but the oak is complemented by chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you always have to say what you're thinking. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a curse. I think I'll try it a neat a bit. Yeah. And no. then uh, 55, I'll it's do a bit of water as well. So now I'm, now I'm around 50. Should be okay. Mm -hmm. The smell is lighter now, <clears throat> with the water in it. A little bit of honey. Mm. Again, smoky. Mm. The oranges are there. Didn't expect that. It's very creamy, nutty, um, oily. Um, as soon as you swallow, it's smoky. A lot of smoke in there. And a bit of, did I say nutty already? No. Um, nuttiness, sherry sweetness. So you do get that it's uh, the Oloroso. Yeah, typical Oloroso note in there. Mm -hmm. With a 50% now, it's still quite hefty. It's mouth-watering, the oranges growing, growing, growing stronger. And some, well, some leather tobacco, smoky, peaty aftertaste. Yeah. A little dryness in the aftertaste. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Strange. Mm. Even more round, even more creamy. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, yeah, smoky comes when you've swallowed and when you wait a little bit, together with a nice round chocolatiness. Didn't change the whiskey that much when I, when I added water. Mm -hmm. Still strong, still a lot of peat in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had a Porchale 10 year old before, not that strong in the ABV, but it came out quite the same with the peatiness. So mm -hmm. this is quite consistent in the peatiness between the different bottlings of Port Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice thing. Yeah. Mm, I think uh, this will not be the last one we see a O1 of. We have the Madeira, we have the now the Oloroso. Um, and I like it. Port Charlotte is a really good brand. Made by Bruchladi, mm -hmm. really good distillery. And I'm looking forward for for new expressions of them. Yeah, but it's a relatively young brand, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, it's probably ten years old. Yeah, a bit, mm -hmm. bit older now, but maybe uh, eleven or twelve. Ah, and we forgot to tell <laughs> the people how much it costs. Oh, it's so it's, it's not that expensive. cheap. <laughs> it's around a hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Yeah, you have to have deep pockets for a nine-year-old. Mm -hmm. mm. I think they had a big run on the ten-year-old, and it's a bit, a bit about exclusiveness still. But mm -hmm. uh, it's a wonderful whiskey, and I hope to see a lot of that stuff uh, to be you enjoyed in the future. Hopefully, we will see some older standard expressions as well. Yeah. So yeah. Very nice whiskey. I would rather rank it as one of the more expert types whiskeys. You should be able to, yeah, you should know Port Charlotte before you go into one of these uh, bottles with a hundred 
euros, dollars, pounds. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.